D, Paz and Patty here, and I'm going to use some of my Friday fun finds from the Dollar Tree to finish up this journal page. So come on along. Yeppers, I did follow the crumbs that I left on the table yesterday. And when I got up this morning, I completed another page in my November journal. I'll show that to you in a few moments. But as I was finishing up the page, I added some ribbon to the top and the bottom. And then I was like, hmm, yes, I can use some space. Sparkle. It is a very patriotic page about election day, all red, white, and blue, and it can use a bit of sparkle. Well, I got out my tub of bling bling, mostly all from the Dollar Tree. And I remembered that I had some in the closet that I haven't hauled yet. And I believe it is quite a haul. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I only bought a few more pieces of bling bling, but I guess I've been collecting quite a bit in the closet to haul. So I want to share all that with you. And I, I must have like 21 different kinds of bling bling going here. So I try to get it organized. So I'm going to share my collection and my haul of all things sparkly with you. <laughs> so why don't you come in closer? So let's do this video in three parts. Part one will be the new bling haul from the Dollar Tree. Part two will be the old bling collection. And part three will be the let's add some bling to a journal page. So let's get on with the new bling haul. Now, I don't believe any of these styles are actually brand new at the Dollar Tree. They've been around for a while. But I do believe the newest one that I found are these wonky shaped jewels. And I have the pack clear pink to dark pink, clear light red to dark red, like a ruby red and clear yellow to gold. I have these three packs. And you know what? I've seen these at the Dollar Tree several times, and each time I actually pass them up. Yeah, I don't know. It was like, what would I ever use these for? Because they're such odd shapes. And then one day I just picked them up. I said, you know what? I'm going to get these and add them to my collection because you never know, right? And then when I was doing my wonky flower journal page, these little gems were the perfect added touch. Look at them. The flowers are wonky. The gems are wonky. Perfect. Possum perfect. Yes. So I am so glad that I did pick these up because now I know that these wonky shapes are going to be perfect for some journaling pages. I don't know if they come in other colors than these. I would love to get them in a purple or a blue or a green. If I see them, I will pick them up. I already have some of these. You get a hundred pieces in here. And these are faceted, a little bit different than some of the other ones. I love that these are all different sizes. There's actually some clear ones in here too. And I love the way they sparkle and shine. I'll show you the other ones after. The ever popular half round pearls. I have the pink, the red, sort of a purplish mauve plum, maybe a plum, let's call this plum. A really pretty spring green 
and a blue. And blue is my color of the year. So I kind of looked around, especially for some blue bling. So you get 260 pieces. And if you're familiar with the Dollar Tree, these are all a dollar and a quarter for each pack. These were really fun. I had purchased this one before, but you know me, I can't pass up butterflies. <laughs> I am just waiting for spring to be able to use these bling bling butterflies in my journals. And rainbows, I love this rainbow with the bling at the bottom, like clouds. And then these stars. Now this one was a new one to me. I found this at one of the Dollar Trees and I had not seen the stars before. And I love that they're all different, all different sizes. So these are three special ones. This one you get five pieces, two pieces, and four pieces. These are going to be super fun to add to our journal page. Now I call these bubbles because to me it looks like a bunch of bubbles in different sizes just kind of going up. And I found the beautiful blue and the bright vibrant pink and the sparkling kind of looks like champagne gold, doesn't it? And bubbles to me is a very pleasant way of lifting up positive thoughts and prayers. And that's why I'm always saying blessings and bubbles. Now these are a larger sheets. Now these are still the same price. They're still $1.25. And of course I got the blues. These are uniform in size, two different colors. And I like that they're two different colors. So I got the light blue and the dark blue, the light pink and the dark pink, but this does have a, a row of clear ones there. And of course the multicolored ones. Now I would have picked up a, a purple pack, but I didn't see any. And the greens are really pretty too, so that's why I grabbed the multicolor. Now they're calling this one piece, but you can use all these gems individually. And the last style, now I picked up these oh many, many, many times, and I love using these. It's kind of like a half round, a pearlescent, and then it's surrounded by smaller, sparkly, clear gems. And I got the light pink, the white with the clear, and of course the blue. Now let's go back and look at some of the older purchases I have in my Bling Bling collection. This is my Bling Bling tub here. And I'm gonna move that aside. At the top of the box, I have a baggie full of these large gems. And I did haul these the other day, so I will link this below. And there's so many different styles. I love the crosses and the fleur-de-lis. My favorite are these boho designs. Now that cross <laughs> was floating around, so it just got stuck on there, but these are my fave and I know exactly what I'm going to be using these for and some of these too. I'll just do these quickly like I said because I did haul these the other day and I'll link that below and I have so many different designs. The keys and the locks were a fave with many folks and my fave were these and the fleur-de-lis, and one pack didn't get opened up yet. Sometimes I like to take out the cardboard because it, the cardboard really does take up a lot of room in the, in the box, so sometimes I empty them out. So I have a whole passel of these, and I love them, and like I said, I wasn't sure what I was gonna use them for, but now I know. Stay tuned for that. 
Let's start with these little packages of chunky gems. They come in two shapes that I've found, the flowers and the butterflies, and I love to add these to a page. I have two packs of the butterflies and one pack of the flowers. Now, if you've seen any that are different shapes, let me know, because I want to be on the lookout for them because these are large, chunky, fun gems to add to a journal page. Now, most of the gems do come stuck to a plastic back. And here I have a few different packs of the ones that are multifaceted. And I have mixed colors, mixed colors, light pink, dark pink, and blue. A couple of clear ones mixed in there. But you know, can't go wrong with some big chunky gems. Now the pearl half rounds are perfect for any journal page. I've got green and light blue, a couple of those, and the darker blue like a navy, and the light pink, and the plum, and white, and the red. If you like more of a subtle look with your bling bling, the half round pearls are the way to go. Of course, there are the hearts, the heart shaped bling bling, and light pink, and yellow, and royal blue, and clear, and red, and green, perfect for Christmas. Of course, you have red, white, and blue here. And these are super fun to use any time of the year, not just Valentine's Day. And more sparkly ones. And these are just plain round sparkly gems. <laughs> A little bit stuck there, that's fine. And red and green, perfect Christmas colors there, red and green. And I have the clear ones. I don't have a lot of these. I actually have more of these on a different size sheet, though. And this was unusual. I only have one of these, and if I see more of these, I might pick these up, because these are a little different. First of all, I love the total design. You can pull this whole thing off and just put that as a border on your page. Or you can pick little bits off and use the smaller ones and the square ones wherever you would like on a page, too. And these are my absolute fave, fave. I love to call these my mermaid bubbles. And it just reminds me of little magical bubbles that would come up from a mermaid under the ocean or maybe fairy bubbles or <laughs> I don't know. I just love these. They have a different kind of look to them different colors. I don't know. These are these are just very magical and I really need to get another pack of these. Yes, I have a hundred packs of bling bling, but these are very special and I love to use these a lot. I think I had two packs of these and this is all that's left. So these two, yeah, I love these two because they're different from all the others. And I would buy these two again or next time I see them. Now let me share these with you. And if you look at the round ones, it has these little tiny ones surrounding it. So it's got a different look to it. It's got a totally different look to it than some of the other round ones. And again, you can take a whole strip and put a border on your page or just pick pieces off like I tend to do and use them in special spots on your journal page. I've got the multi and the blue in this style. Very pretty. A little bit different than the other ones. I have some more of those bubbles that I was talking about that I bought more of. I already have the dark pink and the light pink, but as you can see, I've been using them. There's a lot missing there. And the black, very elegant, and the champagne, and more blue. 
these are a little different too. They reminded me of like little crowns. <laughs> As you can see, I used a lot of the pink ones already. But I went out and I bought some more. I bought the clear. And I love this purple color. And again, black. I've used some of this already. Very elegant. And blue. And red. And is that the same purple? Yes, I guess I got two purple because it's such a royal color. And red, white, and blue, and black on these. And you can use these as a cross your page or pick them all apart and use them any way you want. And I do have, let's see, larger sheets here. Now these are all the same price whether you're buying a larger sheet or a smaller design. They're all the same price, $1.25. And these are white with clear bling. And we have gold. <laughs> you can see all the gold ones I've used. Sometimes I use the little ones. Sometimes I use the big ones. Sometimes I take the whole strip. And blue. This is all I have left of these. That's why I bought more of these. I used a lot of these too. And also on a large strip. Now these are a little unusual. I saw these in different colors too. But I got the black and white because I thought they were very elegant. And I've used a bunch from different parts of the page. And I did get the black and white in this style too. This is like the new ones I got with the, the blue and the pink. And also for the same price, you can get an even larger sheet. Now these, sometimes you have to look over in the floral department for these. And you can just put this whole sheet down on something. But to me, that's an awful lot of bling. Now I like bling to be an accent piece. I don't like this much bling on a page. <laughs> I like it to like... Uh, be a spot to draw your eye to, right? A little sparkly accent to a page. And around the Halloween, they do have special ones. I got this really fun skull and like a purple skull and some orange bling in the background. Yeah, that one's really fun. I probably bought both of these for Halloween. So you can get a very large page of bling. Now these are different because these are on like netting. This is like a sticky netting. You pull the back off and this is this very tacky and you can just put this whole thing down on something or you can cut strips and put them down that way or you can cut these out individually but I wouldn't bother doing that because I have all these other individual ones. You can also get bling like this in a roll. Here we go. And again, it's in the floral department. And here you have a strip with two. And you can put it down like that or cut this in half and use a strip of one. Good for if you want to cover a whole big area. Just about 21, I would say, depending on how you want to count it. You can count it any way you want. But I would say 21 different kinds of bling from the Dollar Tree. Now, let's use some of this. Now, I used a couple of different elements to complete the page. The first one was this large mailbox that came off a flyer. Now, I thought this was from last year, but apparently it was from two years ago when they were doing a lot of mail-in voting ballots. And it was just a picture of the mailbox with a mail-in ballot material and a flag. And it says, Connecticut is counting on you. Make your plan to vote. And what I did was I just cut out the mailbox and I cut this from the bottom of the page and also another bit, but I'll show you that in a moment. And when I glued it down, I left this open like this. 
like a tuck. So this part is glued down, the flag and the bottom of the mailbox are all glued down, but I left this part open like a tuck. Now this was on the bottom of the page, but right across the top of the mailbox was little sticky bits. I think where they put the flyer together like that. And it says, Connecticut is counting on you. Make your plan to vote. So I just glued that on top of that sticky strip that was there. And I made a journaling card. I took some of the leftover scraps from these two pages, as you can see. I put my I voted today button. I did my journaling, just very simple, election day, November 7th, 2023, I voted today. Now this little calendar piece had an eight on it because this was actually from the year before, I believe. So I cut out the eight and I put a seven and I did use my new letters and numbers from the Dollar Tree. And this was the plain blue letter sticker pack. Those are my new alphas and I used a little bit of this paper which is the same paper that the page is made out of and I did a little tiny journaling here because on this side I have a very old picture of a bald eagle from August 1996 and what I did was <laughs> because <laughs> I love to do fun things. I took the sticker and I took a picture of it with my phone and I printed it out with my Canon Mini Ivy printer. But before I printed it out, I made it tiny. I made it little so that the eagle could wear his sticker I voted today. You can see the size of the real sticker, which I think would have been way too big for this eagle. And so I just printed it out smaller and stuck it down there. Now this eagle with the American flag in the background, I believe this was probably a raptor show in Pennsylvania. It might have been Hawk Mountain, but I'm not really sure. I don't remember because, you know, the brain, she's a broke and I don't write things down because I keep telling myself, ah, I'll remember where that was. How could I ever forget? <laughs> and immediately I forget, but at least the date was printed on the back of the picture. So I know it was August, 1996. So just a fun journaling card. And I just love to do little fun things like that. And this was just an old picture that's been floating around since 1996. So I thought I would use it. And you can slip the eagle right there into the mailbox and look how fun that is. And then I thought to finish the page, I would put some ribbon trim at the top and at the bottom. And I had purchased this very large bundle of trim and ribbons. Now this comes from Michael, but you get a whole bunch. And I believe they're like $9.99. But after probably the 4th of July or something, these are on sale half price and I had picked this up. It wasn't just this. Like I said, it's a big bundle of ribbons and trims. Now for half price, I think this is worth it. $9.99 might be a good price too for the amount you get, but I usually wait till things go on sale. And I added the red, white, and blue at the top and I added a red trim and a blue ribbon at the bottom. And I thought I was done, except for I'm like, yes, we need some sparkle. And I wanted to put a little bit of sparkle right up there. Now, I have an unlimited supply of sparkle. <laughs> but now I have to make decisions. Do I want to do red, white, and blue? half rounds which are really pretty or do I want to use red white or blue hearts on the page hmm my first thought were these but when I opened up the box of bling bling and remembered the hearts I was like hmm maybe the hearts now do I want to do all the same color do I want to do red, white, and blue? 
The blue does not show up that much, but it does show up. We can just do red, white, and blue. I think that might work. Yes. Yeah, let's just do red, white, and blue for fun. And for fun, I'm not going to put them in a straight line. <laughs> yeah, mix them up a little bit like that. Just have some fun with it. We could sort of, you know, mess them up a little bit, right? Why not? Look at this. That blue really shows up nice down here. We can have them like falling across the page. There you go. Anything at an angle adds movement to your page and that's just going to bring your eye right into the page. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with it. I'm going to use a little bit of the Fabri-Tac glue to glue these down. All right, I'm going to angle the first one in the direction that they're falling. And then I'm going to put the clear one which is standing in for white coming down like that and then the blue in this is not what I planned but you have to work intuitively and we don't want that going in the same direction alright so we got this one going that way and this one put a little bit up on the blue and let's see this one just kind of down there like that well that's my journaling page and the end of part three just the perfect amount of bling added to the page little sparkle at the top love it love it well i want to thank you for coming along today for my bling bling haul, my bling bling collection, and a little bit of journaling. Now, you know, the other bit of crumb that I left in this journal to do, this actually has to go in the October journal. <laughs> Let me get that out so I can leave some crumbs for the next sesh. My October journal was a really fun haunted house. And if you missed this one last fall, I'll link this one below too. So I hope you come back for some more journaling and I wanna wish everybody happy junk journaling. Bye bye.